let's move on to the second question, um, which was, okay, would you allow a man to teach you to become the woman he needs versus the woman you want to be? Okay, so now that was Marie's question, but this is how she, uh, she, she phrased it to me. She said, why don't women care slash value themselves enough to leap? Oh, why do I keep reading that question? That's a <laughs> Maybe that's the question we should do on the future episode since you keep reading. But it. I'm not ready for that. You know, I've been trying to do these things like a mixtape. Like it gotta, oh, it gotta flow. <laughs> Hello, wait a minute. What, what is that question? Is it hard for a man to... Okay, she's saying, is it hard for a man to properly teach or correct a woman's wrongdoings respectfully? That's what she said. And so the question that I, how I did it, I said, how I worded it was, would you allow a man to teach you to become a woman, teach you to become the woman that he needs versus the woman you want to be? Because a lot of times um, when you go into these new relationships, um, you go in as yourself, you know, and you kind of don't want change. Mo I guess some people, some women. So I don't know. I don't know how, um, it depends. It depends. Like, it depends. I feel like the two are kind of different, though. What I feel you, like okay. what I feel like what Marie was asking was probably kind of different than the way that you reworded it. It seems like a little different. Could you read read her question again? Okay, she said, "Is it hard for a man to properly teach or correct a woman's wrongdoing respectfully?" Like I, I would need an example, like. Right. I think she meant what it sounds like is that she meant it in a way like if the woman had done something disrespectful and the man wanted to check her for that. Is oh, it, okay. Is that hard? That's what I that's what I heard it as. And then the question that you're asking is like, can you can you love the like it sounds like you're saying yeah, like I see. can you let a man teach you to love him the way he needs to be loved right in the way you want to love him? See, Marie, this is why you need to be up here. <laughs> You need to be up here. Yeah, so it is so she did confirm that it is different. And I think like even from the way that she uh asked the question, um, again, going back to the whole labels and stereotype thing, right? I think it's hard for anybody to be like somebody correcting you on something that you don't feel like you're in the wrong for. Of course, you may, you know, not <laughs> want that person. She's talking about don't be reworked. <laughs> <laughs> you know of course you're not you may not like like the way that a person is like chastising you for your wrong right. doing or saying like no like or like she said like checking you or putting you in your place like most people ain't gonna go for that and again you know for a long time I mean women kind of used to you know somebody always feeling like they got to put them in their place so it's just like now that we have more freedom now that we are able to express ourselves now that it's been acceptable for us to be in different positions of authority and things. So it's just like, now that we have that, I feel like now it's just like, okay, I don't know if it's anybody else, but it's just, I feel like it's like now it's just like, in my, our, some people's mind, some women's mind, it's just like, okay, we ain't going back there. Like, you know, you ain't gonna be correcting me and checking me no more. Like, you know, I, you know, <laughs> we passed we pass that. Like you can, you know, they just don't want, they just don't want the correction. But you know, I just, again, it just goes by, you know, what type of relationship you have. With your partner like if it's coming from a place of love I feel like it's gonna be it may not be fully welcome but you're gonna appreciate them like you know telling you like you were wrong or you know you need to do xyz or that wasn't the right way to handle this or you know whenever you said this or did this you know this was the type of effect it gave I just feel like if you're coming out of a place of love um and they understand that you're you're doing whatever as in their best interest it's going to be taken a different way versus if they know you're just trying to put them down or you just trying to you know come at them of course again with anybody not just black women because again everybody's trying to get this whole thing that black women are complicated and we can't take you know criticism and we're hard to get along with you know just people in general like if you're coming out coming from a place of love even if initially the other person doesn't realize you are they're going to appreciate it. Even if they don't take it right then, they'll still appreciate it. But they feel like you come in like in a place of being negative and you just trying to, you know, you just trying to like tell them they're doing something wrong. 
and you that's not gonna work you know it's not i totally agree let me see i'm about to try something y'all uh copy okay so i'm about to see if i can post in the um for those of you who are watching and like marie this really for you <laughs> um, i'm about to put, put in like the the phone number to dial in and uh the passcode to type in in the id or whatever um for this mm -hmm. meeting so you guys so for whoever to uh come in you guys can like come in and share like your opinion um, if you choose to, let me see, let me do it real quick. What do you think about it? Um, Passcode to type in in the ID or whatever. Okay, we're going to have feedback uh, real quick. Meeting, so, you guys, so for whoever <laughs> to uh, come in, you guys can like come in and share like your opinion. Um, choose to. Let me see. We're answering the question that she asked about, right? Yes. Um, Passcode to type Hello, in I can reread it to you. Hold on. Okay, we're going to have feedback. Zoom phone like you like your opinion. Um we're answering the question that she asked about, right? Yeah. Oh Lord. Play black. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Play black. All right. Um we're answering the question that she asked about. Right? Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, so I put the Zoom phone number in. For those of you who would like to dial in, I, I put the Zoom phone number in and I actually kind of test it out. Marie, test it out. Do somebody yeah, test it out. Yeah, I was out. just about to say, if yeah, Marie somebody test, test it, it out, out that would um, be good so that way she can kind of explain her question because I think I got it, but, you know, just in case she had like a little more. Time. Right, right. Um, But I'll reread it, Um, Courtney. Uh, she said... I got so many notes. Okay, she said, is it hard for a man to properly teach or correct a woman's wrongdoing respectfully? So I guess not to be so hard on her, like mm -hmm, uplift her instead of like beating her down if she does something wrong. Well, I mean, that just, that just, like, like you said, it just goes with the delivery of it. Um, Cause see, Marie might be coming from. She might be giving give an example of what she's saying. Yeah, I didn't like, know. <laughs> yeah, because it, it doesn't. It does in Marie Bell Because it doesn't seem like you know. To me, I mean, if you're, it, it, it will only be hard for him to correct her wrongdoing if she's not used to somebody correcting her, or like I said, if it's not coming from a place where the person is genuine man. or whatever yeah. like if you're doing it respectfully then it shouldn't be a reason for the correction to be taken right. offense. the only way i see that being taken is if like you said she doesn't take criticism or if there's like no communication whatsoever who is this like, who is oh, this might be maria i hope it is. it's still connecting audio i doubt it she ain't gonna do it note nine is connecting who is this this is a mystery person who is this Ooh. Okay, they're connected. Boom. Here we go. <laughs> Y'all <Yay! laughs> Yeah. Look, oh, we're so happy to have you. Okay, so. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> okay, so let us know what's, what's, what's good. Let's good. What is Oh, Jesus, this girl here. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Y'all know I'm at work, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, don't don't try to get to Okay, started. go go through your go through your question. Uh, go through okay, your question. Okay, we read it back to me. Okay, you said, is it hard for a man to properly teach or correct a woman's wrongdoing respectfully? Right. So what, what, you, what, what, you, what, you think, what you think about it? It depends on who you're dealing with to me and how they come, the, the, their delivery. Right. Because if you, your message may be A1, but if your delivery is not the correct way, it's not going to reach that person. So delivery has a whole lot to do with that. Okay. And also, I think also, but, like, if you know your person, like, if you know the person you're dealing with, you should already know yeah. how to come to them. But you know, okay, but think about this, because I was listening at y'all earlier when y'all was talking about the, like, Black women syndrome, always angry, always aggressive, that type thing. Because let's just face it, nowadays, when you try to talk to a no a black female, I'm not gonna say black woman because there's there's levels to that. So in my opinion, <laughs> okay, there's, levels. There's, 
there's levels to being a female, a woman, a lady. There's levels in my okay. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. now. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, because we already looked at as angry as mm-hmm. you know, the stereotype. Yeah, the stereotypes. Because if you got a deeper voice, you you know you combating. Yeah. I need you to hush. That, that type thing. So, yeah. And, and, and like, you don't <laughs> let them finish. They say you over talk them and, you know. Oh, don't never listen. You're hard headed. <laughs> don't you hate that? Down. Oh, my gosh. I hate that. To so a certain much. extent, because you got to learn how to be self, hold yourself accountable for yourself as well. So, like, I, I, sometimes a lot of black like, women don't like to be held accountable I, for that. Some guys, I just say, well, what you want me to do? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I, I get like, like I feel like that small way. I'm like, so what you want me to? I don't know what to. Is yeah. it? Can I speak now? Like, and then they go, oh, now you're trying to be funny. Like I had somebody do that today. <laughs> I was like, he said, they, you, you're over talking me. Over first off, I ain't gonna go there. But I was like, can I speak now? And then that's when he was like, oh, you're trying to be funny or whatever. You know, this the nigga that ain't had no teeth. This girl right here getting on my nerves. Oh, I'm Lord. talking about catfishing too. <laughs> You see my story, Whitney? When you, get time, when you get time, go look at my story. Oh, gosh. I, I got catfished. But, um, Thank you for explaining that, Marie. I think we got welcome. on the same page finally. Yeah. <laughs> Let <laughs> us keep you from your job now, girl, because you know people be tripping. <laughs> oh, no. Mine ain't like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all right. So we will see you Sunday. Okay. Next okay. Sunday. On okay, here. <laughs> On here. Yay. Oh, God. All right, All right, All right bye. Y'all. Bye. Okay. Oh, no, I ain't gonna say. Did she hang up? Okay, let me see. Like... <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, I can make hers from here. We learning on here, y'all. We learning on here. <laughs> Right. I actually the whole what did I do? I switched my view. Hello. Well, now that we got okay. clarification, but yeah, it's basically the delivery of delivery, of yeah. Mm-hmm. Cuz I know I shut down if I don't like your delivery or something. So, I think this is a lesson for guys. Um I hope the men that are watching, basically, we're willing to work with you. Just watch how you talk to us. Like, just just be softer. We are women, so we can't. You don't talk to us like you're talking to your homeboy or your uncle. You know, just tone it down a little bit. And basically, we will do what you want us to do. It's the delivery, you know. Okay, well, most of us will do because the way you just did that with me, you was like, <laughs> no, you was like, we'll do what you hold on. Uh, now. <laughs> well, it depends on. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, nine times out of ten, we're gonna do it anyway to save our relationship. True, I mean, true, depending true. on depending on yeah, what it I is, you. you know. So we okay. I got you. So let's go to question three, which is: Does being called 